In this video, we are going to find the distance between two points using the distance formula. So this formula that I have written down is the distance formula, and here's how you read it. The distance is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And where this x2 and x1 and the y2 and y1, where those come from, is they refer to the coordinates of the points. So before I even start off, I'm going to go ahead and label my points as point number one and point number two. This will help me keep them straight in the formula. All right, the next part is I want to write down this formula and leave those x's and y's blank for now so that I can fill them in later. All right, so it says take x2 minus x1. So we'll take the second x-coordinate and subtract the first x-coordinate. So 2 minus a minus 4. All right, looks pretty good. Let's do the same thing with the y's. So y2 minus y1, second y-coordinate minus the first y-coordinate. All right. Now once you have everything plugged into the formula, it really just comes down to a matter of simplifying things. I recommend starting from the inside and working your way out just to make sure you don't make an error. So 2 minus a minus 4 becomes a positive 6. Negative 3 minus 1 gives us a negative 4. Things are looking good. And of course both of these numbers get squared. So 6 squared gives us a 36. Negative 4 squared gives us a 16. All right, things are looking good. We can add those together and get the square root of 52. Now, since the distance formula involves roots, you want to make sure that when you get to this point, that if the root can be simplified, that you go ahead and you do so. In fact, 52, if we look at it and start to break it down, it's actually equal to 4 times 13. This means we can simplify this root into 2 times the square root of 13. And normally we'd be done because this number represents the exact distance between two points. But oftentimes when you're dealing with distance, you know, it might be in a word problem and, and you know, you're looking for the distance in miles or meters. And, and sometimes looking at this number doesn't really give us much of a hint in terms of how big it really is. So every once in a while, we'll actually take this and we'll also get its decimal approximation. So you'll take 2 and the square root of 13, maybe punch it into a calculator, and you'll get that it is about equal to 7.211. And there we go. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.